Beware of the indicator bleaching out when performing a total alkalinity test. The most common interference in a total alkalinity test is caused by a high level of chlorine or bromine. If excessive chlorine or bromine is present in the sample, one of the two organic dyes used in the total alkalinity indicator bleaches out. When this happens, the reaction's color changes from blue to yellow instead of green to red. To prevent this interference in a total alkalinity test, retest, adding one additional drop of reagent 7 in step 2, for a total of 3 drops of thiosulfate. Rinse and fill the large comparator tube to the 25 ml mark with the water to be tested. Add 3 drops of reagent 7 to neutralize the sanitizer residual. Swirl to mix. Add 5 drops of reagent 8 indicator. Swirl to mix. The sample should turn green. Add reagent 9 dropwise. After each drop, count and swirl to mix until the color changes from green to red. Multiply the number of drops used by 10. Record the result as parts per million calcium carbonate. If a polymeric biguanide or PHMB product is used in the pool, the sample will turn from green to purple instead of green to red in a total alkalinity test. This color change may still be used as a reliable endpoint. Other tests normally performed on pool and spa water should not be affected by the presence of PHMB. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT 